while and I'm feeling a little bit shy today so bear with me but I'm back after Christmas. It feels like I have been off YouTube for the longest time. I don't think I've ever taken a break that's quite this long before but it was very good for mind, body, spirit. I thought I would just check in with you this morning. I'm just getting ready to film my makeup routine but I'm gonna put it on Instagram. I'm gonna switch things up a little bit. We'll see how it goes. One of my New Year's resolutions is to post on there just a little bit more, just a little bit because I really, really neglect it. Yeah, I'm just quickly running my straighteners over my hair before I do so. I really need to have my hair cut soon. I've got a proper like Ginny Weasley, like 10 year old girl haircut at the moment. It's not giving me what I wanted to give. But yeah, welcome back to a new vlog. I'm very excited to be back with you. This week, I'm gonna be organizing a lot i've actually i really got the itch to do it over christmas and i held off because i really wanted to do it with you guys but i wasn't like ready to come back yet i got a lot of new organizational bits i sat and did a little amazon order and ordered all of the bits that i need and i'm so excited to do my kitchen but also my beauty storage in particular i did have a peek in my makeup drawer this morning it is like outrageous it's totally out of control just like stuff thrown in all on top of each other and i love the makeup that i have but it is like a total minefield and you can't really see what you're looking for and you get kind of overwhelmed because there's just so much choice but there's definitely a lot of bits in there that are like old and haven't been used in a very very long time like since i don't think they've been used since i did the last clear out so the kind of rule is if it hasn't been like chucked in on top and it's still perfectly where it was before i think it might need to go but also check like the sell by dates and stuff because some stuff might still be okay so i'm so excited to go through that with you i also need to show you what i got for christmas which i didn't do a full video this year probably for the first time in the longest time i will show you but i basically got some pajamas some mugs some uggs and uh what else did I get? A candle, some wine. I think that was it. Save my hair. Definitely should have washed it yesterday. It's one of those on the edge days, you know? I'm so nervous. And we are done. Not to be dramatic, but I think people have run marathons faster than I can film a makeup reel, but we got there in the end. Question though, does the makeup look okay? Because I did it all in the viewfinder of my iPhone. Anyway, let's get on with the day. Okay, now I feel like we're in the official catch up position. Let's get into it. This month has, well, has been and is all about hitting the reset button for me. And I don't mean that in terms of like kicking back at a spa. I mean, in terms of like resetting my <laughs> my life to how it was before the end of the year last year. Things just get very, very busy and we're just trying to make it through until the end of the year. There's a lot going on. The house gets a bit messy. The fridge is the fridge is actually like the fridge is my inspo for a lot of this order because it just is completely out of control you know people bring things around they leave things i've got like pina coladas in tins in the fridge i've got what else have i got i had like half bottles of baileys it was a lot i've been slowly like obviously dealing with those things but it needs like a really good like clear out clean organize and i've never really had much in terms of like fridge organization but it's something that i love so i decided to pick up a few bits from amazon i also picked up something to organize my jewelry off of amazon as well which i'm so excited about i need to just get into this i think this one is the jewelry organization but i have a lot of jewelry like costume jewelry and i oh this isn't the jewelry organization Ooh. And the collection is always growing so i picked up some organization for that as well and some of the fridge organization can also work in other places in the house so maybe for beauty storage as well i did get some bits that were specifically for my beauty storage too i just kind of went all out my drawers have like no dividers my cupboards are just like there'll be like one shelf and then there's just everything is on it there's no like sectioning or anything like that so yeah i got just a lot of bits to help me get started like trays like this which are gonna be amazing not only for the fridge but for my cupboard like all of my i didn't want a spice rack like the spinny ones very unnecessary for me but what i wanted was like a tray that i could literally just take out and sort through everything rather than my cupboard that the spice will basically i'm just really sure obviously i've said it about a million times on this channel but the cupboards are like a little bit too high for my eye level so i can't really see a lot of things and it's hard to kind of like reach to the back and pick up like spices and things like that so i thought it'd be so easy if i just had a tray that i could like whip out have a look through put it back so much easier than like pushing things aside and it just gets a bit chaotic in there and it's not the life that i want for myself so i got some of these like lower kind of ones and then some that have like higher sides as well which i thought would be so useful for like bigger items so there's two of these and i think i've got three or four of these and these will be good, like great for my bathroom cupboards and things like that as well if i don't end up using them in the kitchen oh i lied i have more of these these are just going to be so useful 
I actually really like them. I think I'm gonna use them a lot in the fridge to kind of like, I have so much cheese, so much vegan cheese, and I thought it'd just be really nice and easy to like stack them in a row rather than just having them fall all over the place every time I open the fridge. I've just open something that is uh, not my Amazon order. But thank you very much to Chase Gin for sending me some really nice gins. Ooh. So we have pink grapefruit and pomelo. Is that how you say it? And then we have, oh, raspberry and basil. It's really not helpful that that arrives now when I literally just said, I think I'm done with drinking. I'm going to do dry jam, but there's no way I'm doing that now. So cool. Anyway, back to my kitchen organization. I didn't, I honestly thought that was one of my Amazon orders. Honestly, the, the hallway's just been filled with boxes, Amazon boxes for weeks. I think everyone has wanted to murder me. Oh my God, I was so excited about these. These I deliberated over for such a long time. I'm not really one for like storage jars so much i think when you take certain things out of their packaging like ryan loves having his coffee in like a jar like a display jar i personally don't because i swear it affects the coffee but i'm obsessed with these they are so cool and i thought these would be cool for things like rice pasta like flour i hate flour in the little paper bag it's annoying every time i use it flour everywhere every single time and i've been actually baking a lot <laughs> i don't know if i told you guys this i baked so much over christmas so much banana bread so honestly so much everything but this will actually be really handy for like my brown sugar my caster sugar things like that i've got a few of them i just love the little lid i think they are so cute we then have more drawer organizers these are for my beauty stuff specifically. These are like a brown acrylic, which I thought was quite cool. I have this like off-white drawer set, which this is really difficult to tell, which has all of my beauty and skincare and stuff like that. And I thought these would actually look really nice on the inside. So we've just got these little cute transparent brown trays, which you're gonna look at this now and be like, why? why that looks so grim but i have this vision on the inside of the drawers they're going to be really cute because the inside of the drawers are like that off beigey oatmeal color and then the hardware on the drawers is gold so i just thought these would work really nicely perfect size for blushes oh my god it's even like got this little ridged bit on the inside which i think will help really nicely with stacking i thought that would be really handy because the current system that I have in there is all flat and there's nothing stackable about it and it's not really allowing me to get the best out of that space. So we've got smaller trays at the top and then there's some larger trays at the bottom. So yeah, I think these are gonna be super handy. Very, very happy with those. Oh, well excited about these. I've got some new kitchen cloths. I thought these were basically just a really nice change to the normal like bright blue ones that you get in the supermarkets just really nice and simple they go in my kitchen very nicely the things that i think about and then i think finally we have my jewelry organization oh my god so cute so we've got a set of stackers boxes boxes trays so it's this brand that pretty much does what the name says but you can stack all of these trays on top of each other and it's like a make your own jewelry box kind of vibe and then one of these somewhere in there should have the lid but i thought this was so handy they even do like a sunglasses holder and i currently have like my favorite sunglasses that i wear all the time they're not in their like usual storage and they're just kind of out getting dusty in my dressing room so i thought this would be really handy and i can just have kind of all of my daily jewelry and everything together they also got a matching little watch and bracelet little holder thing which i thought would be really handy because my bracelets currently just live on the side in my bathroom and it's very annoying and actually slightly hazardous because I swear one of them is going to fall down the toilet one day soon. So this is the lid that goes on top. So yeah, there is still another couple of levels to come, but just to give you a kind of idea of the vibe, I thought this was really cute. And it's got a little storage compartment on the top as well. Super, super cute. We have a level for like necklaces and bracelets and that kind of thing. So cute. This is really hard to show you, but I also got a little headband organizer because mine are driving me mad so i thought i'd get something that basically holds them all one of those annoying things to cram into my dressing room right now but hopefully one day when i have a more like permanent system and not a current system that is slowly driving me insane this can like be properly like out on display and look really really cute but for now it's just going to be like a functional little thing super super cheap and easy and then also ordered a restock of pens because mine are running out and my favorite color to write in is pink so i just literally ordered a load of pink viros and also one of my last organizational pieces is an egg tray you might be thinking this is a slightly strange purchase for me but my fridge actually for one didn't come with one two i do occasionally eat eggs it's the one thing that i like 
deviate from occasionally, but also our friends and family. They eat eggs. I also picked up some books from Amazon. This one I have got stuck into straight away. It's Emily Ratajkowski's My Body. I really like it so far. Really, really like it. This is where I've got up to. There's a lot of very, very, very relatable experiences that she's had in this book. I also bought this book called Quiets and its tagline is the power of introverts in a world that can't stop talking. But I basically purchased it because I recently have had to lean into the fact that I am actually very, very introverted. Like lockdown really brought it out in me and I'm kind of learning how to, ooh, and I'm kind of learning how to adjust to that. So I actually I saw that book on Amazon and thought actually, that might be a really, really good one for me. So yeah, I'll let you know if that one is any good. I also have got a new journal this year. This one is like hefty. So I actually haven't used notebooks, like paper notebooks in years. I've always been like quite digital with everything. But more recently, I've been finding it really, really useful to have, I have my normal notebook. This one is, I think from Paper Chase. I love it, it's so cute. But I really, really love this. And I tend to almost end up doing like a double page spread per day because I'm trying to do like my to-do list, but then I'm also doing like my video ideas and what needs to go in every video so that I don't like forget to tell you guys things or anything. And I just find it all gets a bit much on one page. So I've got this little planner from, well, little is uh, incorrect. It's the Perfectly Planned Diary from, I think it's Carrie Co. And I really like this one because it's got like a year in review. It's got my goals. It's got my like money sub goals, like a 2020 overview, which is really great. So like I am starting to mark out key things that I'll need to do in each month, which might not make it onto like a to-do list or make it into my calendar because it doesn't have a specific date but it needs to be done like in that month or like started in that month and that I find really really useful as well there's a quarterly planner which is also going to come in very very handy I can't show you a lot of this because I've written on it and I don't really like sharing my goals one of my goals for January is to declutter organize get my shoes together hit the reset button and the other one is to return to TikTok because I have not made a TikTok video in a very long time I can't even say the word TikTok with a serious voice. That's how you know how I feel about it. But yeah, as you can see, I didn't get my diary until like the fourth. So I have some blank pages that I can show you. But the weekend has like what you're doing, like hour by hour and then a notes section. And then you also have a weekly overview with like notes and then a top to-do list. And then what you can do once you come to your like day, like your Monday, you can then take a look at your like must do this week and like decide whether they're going on that day or not. So yeah, that is my ginormous diary the only thing i would say is that it's literally like so big that sometimes i feel like the bind is not big enough for the amount of paper that there is on this my pen is from typo if anyone's wondering and then finally i have a little delivery shout out to adenola for never over packaging i'm actually always really really happy they literally never do too much packaging it's great and you can biodegrade this as well which i love so over the christmas holidays i went to the gym almost every day so proud of myself because I literally hadn't been in so long like since like August last year I think but one thing that I did realize was that I just didn't have like a plain black active wear set so I decided to treat myself for the fact that I went to the gym every day of the Christmas period which is like you know not the time that you'd usually be going to the gym but I actually love it because it is very quiet I treated myself to the seven eight leggings so the perfect short human length legging and these leggings are so great as well like they're one of those ones that i think you could probably get away with wearing as like an actual piece of clothing but also as an active wear piece of clothing they're really great and i got the matching sports top as well these are the cross back ones they are my favorite like the adenola stuff is so flattering i love it and it's so lightweight it really feels like it cinches me in and fits so perfectly so i decided to treat myself to the black set. I honestly could not recommend this stuff enough. I've actually done a what I wore in a week. If you haven't heard me talk about Adenola before, I've done a whole video, which is a what I wore in a week, but it also includes my workout outfits. Let me know if you would like to see like another one of those. That is everything I bought over Christmas. I still haven't showed you what I got for Christmas. I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, time to get organizing. This is gonna be, I think this is gonna take me a few days if I'm honest, if not a week. <laughs> There's a lot to organize because I'm gonna go through and like clean things as I go. I might do like, the fridge and do my whole entire kitchen i haven't quite decided yet i really should have given this more thought but yeah i hope if some of you are currently doing the same thing that you enjoy having a little bit of company whilst you do it you can just put my video on get organizing you can do it together that's what i'm envisioning i'm not doing this on my own <laughs> you guys are doing it with me
good morning i thought i'd just check in with you because i think that was a long montage of organizational stuff and i thought i'd break it up a little bit and say hi i've just done my makeup you know when you just start to tidy something up like literally was going to be makeup free today thought i'd just tidy up my brows for you guys and make myself just look i wanted to just like brush my hair and my brows basically and before i knew it i've done like a full face of like snatch rule makeup i did not intend on doing this was it worth it probably not i'm literally just organizing today i don't know why i bothered but i've also thrown on my favorite pink hoodie i love wearing pink when i organize especially the kitchen organization because it's so boring and i feel like pink just makes a bit more fun but i thought i'd also quickly break up this little organizational montage and show you a couple of the bits that i got for christmas like really didn't go all out this christmas it was just i got some really lovely bits but yeah nothing too ott but some really lovely quality bits which i'm just so so happy with so i thought i'd share those with you quickly i am super shaky today because it is i'm due my lunch i've woken up so hungry today like nothing is taking away my hunger so once i've done the kitchen i'm gonna have my lunch i'm so so buzzing for it but yeah before i get on with that i just wanted to jump in quickly and show you my my first Christmas present which are the Ugg Ultra Minis. These are so cute. I mean I've been waiting for Uggs to make a comeback for years quite frankly because they were my absolute favourite back in the day and I am obsessed. They are so great especially because I have, I call it Raynoids, I don't know if I say it right, I had lots of correction when I spoke about it before Christmas but I get it in my hat, both my hands and my feet is where your circulation, I don't know how to explain it, your circulation isn't quite right and you lose the colour and feeling in your hands and for me it's just a lot because it basically will affect my whole hand and it makes me feel like my blood isn't pumping around my body properly and I get anxiety and when it's your feet you then feel like you can't walk properly and you're like about to fall so these have actually been amazing for helping with that because i get it really badly in the morning if i shock my body too quickly and go from hot to cold so like in my bed to getting out my bed very different temperatures and i basically like i'm walking around the house like i feel like i can't walk so ignore that really cute example but that is genuinely what i feel like in the morning and these some days i literally slip my feet straight into my uggs when i get out of bed if i know it's cold i just get straight into these and it's helped so much the gloves that i also bought in my practical winter haul if you haven't seen it i'll link it have helped massively just basically annoyingly making sure that i am just super overly warm at all times which is kind of annoying because the rest of my body is fine i feel like <laughs> so warm but it's really really helped with my hands and feet so yeah my mom got me these and i'm so happy with them they're so cute and then i also got these from ryan these are white company pajamas i'll show you them on later but they're these lovely pink and white stripey silk pajamas really really gorgeous i got a size i think it was a medium was it oh no a size small and they fit really nicely like nice and oversized and the bottoms fit just perfectly as well not too big not too small so like super comfy i could sleep in them if i wanted to but i never sleep in these like these silky ones from white company in my opinion are too nice to like fully sleep in sometimes the shirt but never never both but yeah absolutely love those i also got these mugs well ryan got one obviously this one and i got this one from anthropology and these are from ryan's brother and his fiance and honestly we love these so so much they're our go-to mugs they are hand wash only so i hate having to wash up but these mugs are worth it they're just so beautiful like this real gorgeous like tiled design i'm absolutely obsessed with them and then i also got this candle from my brother and his girlfriend i'm not sure where this is from but it's really cute like i think this crystals have to be taken out before you burn it but just a really cute little candle which looks really nice on the side of my bath it smells so good too i think they do a cherry one by the sounds of things i think she was telling me she got a cherry one and that also sounds incredible so i might need to pick that one up too but yeah that is what i got for christmas and now i need to stop procrastinating and actually get on with organizing my kitchen I started off with jewellery and that worked out really well for me because I kind of like eased myself in. This is still here actually, it needs to go in the wardrobe room. But yeah, really, really happy with that. Really enjoyed like the back and forth of like, oh, maybe this should go here or actually no, that should go there. Really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed doing my whole beauty storage actually as well. Like I only set out, like I just tell myself I'm just going to do one drawer and then I always end up like getting into the swing of it but it's a good way to make sure you don't feel overwhelmed i think that's what i'm doing with my kitchen i think i just need to do the fridge tell myself i'm just doing the fridge and then see if i do the whole thing
Now the fun starts. The fun. What a wild life I lead. done it looks like there is no food in my fridge but there's honestly so much in here it's just all really like compact which is really great my favorite section is the cheese section is anyone really surprised by that so many different types of vegan cheese got my herbs some spare broccoli grapes which i love having easily accessible it's probably my favorite kind of aspect of having these open trays i can just get to them so so much easier now i've actually got all of these packaged bits down the bottom just because I think it's nice to have like the veg out. It kind of like makes me start a meal with veg versus like a kind of protein source, if that makes sense. And then I've just got some spare little bits down here. Got all of my milks up top. I've got loads of drinks and tins left from over Christmas that people have left. And then we've got snacks, which <laughs> I rarely ever touch the snacks. These are actually like, I don't drink them. They're just there to look cute. I've then got all of my sauces ridiculous amount and then my booze and then in this cupboard as you will have seen it's so much more organized now i don't think i showed you it before but the before was awful everything was just rammed into here it's so much clearer now so much more organized this is great although i did just keep finding more and more pasta as i went to the back of this cupboard so i now have a whole tray of pasta but it's all good because i literally eat pasta like five times a week so i just don't need any more now i've also refilled my pasta jars that sit out here too i really love having the big shells in this one i think it looks really really cute i didn't really realize how much not being able to see everything was actually impacting me like over buying things so now i know i have pasta i can see how much pasta i have i can also see like the herbs that i have as well which is really handy because i had, did have a couple of the same ones so yeah that is the kitchen nice and organized i mean i've done my best with this cupboard and the fridge but i still have kind of all of my drawers especially under the island it's particularly chaotic and this one down here which you will have seen me do in my cleaning vlogs last year gets a bit messy too everything else is actually fine but just the island and that cupboard need to be done but i will leave that for another day
slightly disheveled today. I've been rained on a couple of times. I went out this morning to get my nails done. So we have fresh new little nails. We have like a custom colour which is two of the, the gel bottle polishes like a milky kind of pink and a white mixed together. So it's like this slight off-white pinky colour is really cute. So that's what I was up to this morning, this afternoon. I'm just going to be editing a few bits. So I'm in a nice comfy little outfit. I'll show you in full. So this is my at home little outfit of the day. This morning I actually just wore these joggers out but with a black hoodie and then an aviator jacket which is on the rail there and my trainers but now that I'm home I've just changed into this white Zara top. Bought a couple of these long sleeve tops from Zara at the start of autumn and they are so handy. They look really nice with like just some basic black joggers or black leggings. They just work really nicely with anything from jeans, joggers, whatever you want and then I've got my little Ugg Ultra Minis on as well because my feet are feeling so cold today. I think where I have my nails done, if I sit for too long, my circulation just uh, cuts out and I feel like a little ice cube for the rest of the day. So these are going to be firmly on my feet. And then in terms of jewellery, I have my Fendi hoop earrings on. This necklace is from Monica Venedo. It's this really cute little like circle that I think has diamonds in it. I really, really love it. And then my ring is also from Monica Minida. So just really simple jewellery to go with like a nice simple outfit. I can't actually remember if I said but these joggers are from Nasty Girl. I got them in a set with the black hoodie. I think last, not last autumn, the autumn before and they've actually been such amazing purchases. I literally wear them on a weekly basis throughout like autumn, winter and spring. They're so great. Not necessarily like the most flattering but they're really lovely and comfy to wear they feel great they feel a lot more expensive than they actually are as long as you give them a good limp roller every so often i absolutely love them and they've got pockets too but i think in terms of organizing i am pretty much done so i think that's going to be it from me this week i definitely need to do and what what do you call it a little bit of wardrobe organizing that's it that is what i'm going to be doing very very soon i can't wait for that not quite my winter to spring switch over i think that'll come a bit later i'm not making the mistake i made last year of switching over too early because i really missed my coats it was very very cold but definitely a big wardrobe tidy up will be coming there may even be some new additions to that room that I pop in temporarily just to get me by so I'll be back doing a little bit more organization with you in a couple of weeks time I reckon but until then I will see you guys hopefully Monday for a new video love you bye